doctor. What is it, ma'am? Uh, Thomas came. He'll come. Don't worry. Thomas, come back. Give Anastasia. Hmm. Sir, why do you let just an attender inside operation theater? For a patient to recover from his disease, medical science just does about two things. One is give him some medicines. Secondly, conduct his operation. Apart from this, the patient needs confidence. Nothing will happen to me. They will surely save me. That kind of a self-confidence. Often, it is not possible for us to give that. That is where people like Thomas are required. They give a lot of self-confidence to the patient. And we also will get good results. Doctor, <clears throat> Thomas has come. Thomas, you always with me. I'm right here, mother. I'm not going to go anywhere. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for by so doing, some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. Actually, we have to join him in a new school. He is not even have a good dress. How we are going to send him to a school? 
the money you have and I have, let us together try to buy a new uniform for him. Oh, I think it's going to rain. Rain started. Our food got spoiled. From now, rainy season started. We won't get work. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Dad, I'm leaving. Come and have your lunch and go. Huh? I think you're already late to the school. No, today. Dad, I'll go fast. Uh, just keep it there. We all should feel proud if we hear the name India. Understood? If we hear the name Kerala, we have to feel active and energetic. Children, take your books now. We all should feel proud if we hear the name India. Are you all writing? If we hear hmm? the name Kerala, why are you not writing? I don't have a pencil. You need pencil? And yes. Energetic. Oh. Ah, all of you copy this very carefully. Uh, take this pencil. <laughs> so he started farming here, huh? If this goes on, he will start raining my land. Huh? Hmm. Udup. Oh. Oh. Greeting, sir. Udup. Sir. I have only given permission for you to live here. Yes, sir. Then why are you doing farming here? Uh, what is it? In the rainy season, if we don't have anything to eat, at least we can get something out of that. At least my family will not be starving at that time. Hmm. Just get that knife, sir. Hmm. Hmm. Odup, if I have given permission for you to stay, then just stay. Just don't try to do farming here. Hmm. Whatever you have sown, you yourself just cut it off. When I planted it with my hands, how can I cut it by myself? Please forgive me this time. Kindly ask. Somebody else to cut it off, please. No, can't do that. You only have to cut it. Then only you will not sow the seeds once again. God Hello, Father. You. What is this? Did you create this? Very nice fellow. Very good. Uh, are you going to school? Yes, Father. Ah. Uh, Eli, Ma. Father. I haven't seen your husband for a long time. Is he going to work or not? Due to rain, he is not feeling well, Father. Did you admit him in a hospital? Not in hospital. He is in house only, Father. Why have you tied a bandage on your hand? What happened to your hand? It's a small injury, don't worry. You have this first. Then only you will get well soon. Dear son, you, 
go to the shop and get some jaggery and come. He is having heavy fever. I have to make medicine to recover him. Go fast. You tell him that mother will give the money. Hmm. Narayanan bro What is it Thomas Tell I come and work with you bro Why do you want to come with me This is the time for you to study My dad had sickness If I go some work I'll help them no hmm. That case tomorrow onwards you come with me Hmm Okay Mom I bought some vegetables for us Dear son how did you got all these Don't worry I have not lended any money I did some work and got it Dad careful so Mom, tomorrow doctor is coming, right? Oh. Here. Take this. Keep this, mom. Dad, dad, careful, dad. You had severe cough. Dad, dad, mom. Dad, dad. Dad. Oh, God. My mother and father grew me very great. Even in their death, they were together. Because of the unknown sickness, my father died. Right behind, my mom couldn't tolerate it, and she died too. They both left us, but still, they are with me. They call me Thomas. Did you have something to eat? Sister, sister. What happened? I want to see the doctor. My stomach is paining. Oh, that is the doctor's room. Go and meet him there. Uh, okay. Uh, Sir, you are having one patient. Ask him to come. What happened to you? Severe stomach pain, doctor. When did it happen? From two days before. Hmm. I can't bear the pain. Is it paining here? Uh, here? Ah! Uh, uh, huh? uh, hmm. uh, Your pain will go away, okay? Uh, okay. So, which class are you studying? I stopped the school. Why? What happened? Hmm. 
Tell me, who has come along with you? I have no one because my mom and dad died few months before. Okay, don't worry. I'm there with you, my son. Uh, for a few days, you have to stay here. After you get cured completely, you can go home. Uh, what is your name? Thomas. Be careful. Hi, Thomas. You are looking great, huh? How are you now? Feeling better? Now your pain has gone away, right? Today we are going to remove your stitches. After that, you will be absolutely healthy, okay? Thomas, today we are discharging you. What are you staring at? Discharge means you can go home. Doctor, I am not going. Because I have no house. Don't ask me to go from here. I have no one doctor. Stop right there. What are you carrying? Uh, um, bro, this is... You're definitely stealing something. <laughs> okay, leave him. Let us see what is there in it. Did you see that? This is our food he is carrying. Hope he is selling it outside. Aren't you? Brothers, please, don't do anything. I'm not going to sell this. Come with me, bro. I'll show you what I'm doing. Hey, leave him. Let him see what he says is truth or not. Have it. Ah, eat this. Mom, weather is so cold. Yes, my son. This climate very cold. Ah, tomorrow I'll look for some bed sheets. Huh, that day got very helpful to me. I'm not sure, but I'll look ah. into it. Look at him. What he said is right. Shall I leave? Ah, God bless you, my son. <laughs> We can't treat the people like this. They have to be carried to the private hospitals. This hospital is just for common people. We can't even keep these kind of people here. What is the problem? Sir, I can't do this anymore. Uh, I'm really scared of all the fools here. They will definitely kill me one day. What he told is right. We have to change them to some other place. I will decide what is to be done. Okay? Hmm.
Sir. What is it, Thomas? Sir, if you allow me, can I work on the mentally retarded ward? It is people like you who have to work in those wards. something to eat for from today onwards for all of you food and services will be provided by me i really like you guys very much do you guys like me back hmm Which bed, sister? Ah, uh, this bed only. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, carefully. Nothing. Brother, please take care of her. Hmm. Sister, this is that patient's file. Did you bring something to eat for? We don't have food in my home, so only if you have enough food, your medicine will work on your body. Oh, nobody is not take care of me. Hmm, madam. What do you want? Many of the patients over here doesn't eat lunch at all, madam. They don't even have money to eat. What can we do for that? If we from the hospital can provide some lunch to them. How can we do that, madam? I bought a bucket with me. So, I've just told all the other employees of the hospital to bring some extra food for all the patients. So, we thought we can collect the food, ma'am. Is it even possible? At least we can try, ma'am. Hmm. Okay. Good morning, doctor. Morning. <laughs> Today, I have the lunch, brother. Please put it in. Ha! Huh. Superintendent is looking for you for a long time. Hmm. Madam. Thomas, bring two buckets from tomorrow. Okay, ma'am. Did you have something to eat? Have this, sir. Huh? There's only one pack for the bed. Please share and eat, huh? Thank you for your help. Thank you. Please finish it fully, huh? Mm. Uncle, please wait, Uncle. What, honey? Can I get some food? There's no more left. Oh shit. Is the baby girl alone? My father and mother died some days ago. My aunt is only taking care of me. She is also not well now, so I have not eaten anything. Okay. Father, mm. I have special reasons for today's prayers. What is that? Tell me, Thomas. I think you must be aware of I'm feeding this mentally challenged people. Already, Doctor Iqbal had informed me you are doing a very good work, Thomas. But we couldn't feed everyone around there. Is what my problem is now. Once all the food were over, a very small girl came to me and asked for one packet of food. I couldn't even fulfill that. When I saw her leaving back without food, I couldn't tolerate myself. My wishes. Everyone should not be hungry and have food. Is it even possible? You have a good heart. Until you have this good heart, you will never ever feel sorry. Let us do something now. Whatever is there in your mind, let us share it with the people of this town. If we tell them, I think they will at least provide one square meal to you every day, and that's my belief. Will it all happen, Father? 
<laughs> Certainly, many functions are happening in this town very often. Marriage, village fair, ear boring ceremony. We will ask all of them to send the leftovers to us, Thomas. One who wants to give, let them give. Huh? If you are going to be with me, Father, in all the places, I am going to open my hands anywhere. <laughs> It is not me. God is with you. Why do you worry? Everything is going to happen. Please wait. Let the master come. Hmm. What's the matter? He just came to collect all the leftover food over here. So he's waiting. But here. for what? For the patients in the hospital. Got it? Hey, who is it? What do you want? Sir, I've come to collect the leftover food once your function is over for the hospital people. Are you gone mad or what? I'm spending my own money for this function, not to give something to you. You just don't have any dignity. Always keep begging. If anything is left over, then we will throw it away. What do you say, huh? Obviously, <laughs> sir. <laughs> hey. I don't know how these people just keep on coming. Brother, stop. Yeah, tell me. Are you the person taking the food to hospital? Yeah. Mom asked to come to our house. Mom, Thomas bro is here. Ah. Uh. Thomas please come Thomas please take the sweet oh. today we are celebrating the function today we are preparing lot of food that's a great gesture for <laughs> we are getting lot of blessing also no i'll wash the utensils and give you back no problem hey thomas huh? <laughs> what's happening around how is everything <laughs> hey thomas it's just festival time in our place in tirunakkara temple there is a puram festival In Kumaranallur Devi Temple there is another festival. In Kudamanur Alphonsa there is another festival. In Etumanur Shiva Temple another festival. So many festivals are happening around. And you know there's a boat race for Onam. You want more? If you just keep on running for these festival it will not be sufficient, okay? You should also do something for yourself, huh? huh? You cunning fellow. Oh, is it marriage for me? Hey, if you listen to me the job will be done in seconds. For that, I need to see a girl first and have a love for that. Hey, Thomas, there's no dearth of girls in our place. Here, just have a look. See this girl, how beautiful she is. Do you like this girl? She's Tracy. <laughs> hey, just have a look at this Sicily. What do you say? The name yes, is Sicily. She's just from the neighborhood, Sicily. <laughs> ah, seems he liked it. <laughs> hey, you thief! You like the most beautiful girl, huh? <laughs> Can you tell me about this girl? <laughs> She's a very beautiful girl, very good looking. Hair so long it will touch the floor, huh? and she has extremely good qualities. I'm sure you'll like her. Thomas, if you like her, then just go fast. She and her aunt has gone to the other side after giving their prayers. Just go, go, man. <laughs> and brother Thomas, you got to give me my commission, okay? <laughs> mm, let's see. <laughs> come, 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 come,
His legs and his bodies are totally weak. We'll have to find out the reasons for that. Sir, I'm just worried. Cool down. He'll be all right. Thomas, bro, we are all with you. Okay. Don't worry. I am praying for him. He'll be all right soon. Hmm. Daddy, Uncle, daddy, sister Uncle, has taken our book and our eaten books. it. Uh, why don't you all stop misbehaving and hmm. go and sleep? Why my son has to face such a situation, Sisley? God will have a solution for all problems. God only has given Sobi to us. He will take care of him. We love Sobi so much. God knows that very well. No, I'm hungry. I, I want to eat. No. I'm hungry. No, don't touch me. Don't be scared. Don't be frightened. Delivery is over. Baby is fine, but she is not fine. Let you very well know, right? We have to admit her in a good mental hospital as soon as possible. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Doctor, please hand over the baby to uh, Thomas. Uh, okay, doctor. Come, darling. Come, cutie. <laughs> Come. Uh, yeah, give it. Uh, uh. Give the child to the gentleman. <laughs> madam, madam, I am taking your child with me, madam. Please bless him. Bless him, madam. What are you looking at? <laughs> you think it's new, is it? Uh, Look at this baby! How beautiful she is! Ah, beautiful yes, it yes, is! Yes. Careful, catch it, catch properly. Take ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, he is crying. Hug him, hug him. My sweetheart. <laughs> thank you very much, doctor. You need not uh, thank me for this. You should thank Thomas. He was the one who saved the mother and child from death. <laughs> Thanks a ton, Thomas. It's okay, sir. Let's leave. You be careful. No, 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 no. Please be careful with the child. I, I'll open the door. Huh? Uh, uh, get in now. Uh, be careful, careful. Slowly. Uh, uh, get in, get in. Yes. Uh, still, still move, move. Uh, okay. Leave me. Come with me. Come Don't make any me. noise and go from here. Don't leave me and go. Leave me. Please come. 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 Go. Please. Help me. Tell me why have you been like this since you came from Trivandrum? Any problem? The scream of that woman didn't leave my heart at all. Uh, what can we do for that? Tell me. None of the hospitals or any other organization want to take care of 
such people with mental disorder we can only pray to god maybe god will find a way out for this problem hmm. i will also pray to god if you misbehave to me i'll slap you oh my god he is such a lunatic he is a big nuisance he always goes behind girls and troubles and physically he has to be handed over to police see how he is staring at me hey don't dance stand here i think so he's drunk so only he's dancing what happened what is happening hey, we saw him stand properly here that's why we caught him waiting for the police to come here after don't do like this to me i will send you to the mental hospital there is no safety for women because excuse of excuse me sister please forgive him i will apologize for what i did abu abu come let's go come on. take let's him go. wherever you want to a friend take of mine is also take him away How just take him away back. he is not required Before here get, just take him i don't want him to any hospital huh? he's stabbing so everybody what is his name thomas his real native name is kunjacharan oh. but because he has a habit of walking in reverse people call him reverse abu <laughs> whatever people are not able to walk properly in their life and you are walking backwards huh can we please admit him in the hospital sir you know everything thomas in all people like him have been admitted in a very small ward as it is there are a lot of people in that ward you do one thing thomas just leave him in the town and come back whatever tablets i have prescribed daily just make arrangements to give him no no if you're going to leave him in the town he's going to create chaos people over the town are already really angry on him they may hit him or even kill him then what can we do you just tell me the way i will take care of him sir where will you take him to my own home sir Thomas bro. Thomas bro. Thomas bro. Wait, please. Please wait, wait for us. Huh? Th- Thomas I'll bro. I'll tell you something, please. I want to tell you something. Thomas What? bro, we arranged one room in our hostel. Oh, that's a great help. Thank you. In our life, we read the signs from books only, but we learned how to show caring from you only. Don't forget we are all your students. Brother Thomas, from this day we need a name for this room. Can you Tell suggest some something? Name for this room, Thomas Pro. Hmm, the name must be Unarjeevan. Hmm, be safe, sir. Yeah, you can get him. Yeah, yeah. Slowly, slowly. Yeah, yeah. Sit down, sir. What's the matter Thomas brother you're looking very anxious today Today's a special day birthday of my little princess i need to get home quicker You should give me also sweets hmm, okay Definitely for you What happened why are you guys still waiting you've been discharged quite early right But brother What is the matter please be open We are not having money for bus fare that's why Even if we go home, there is no food because he is not having any job in his hand. If we stay here, at least we will get some food. I used to carry all the goods in the city. After the fracture, I couldn't continue the work anymore. Hmm. Have this much in your hand. Please get going. Fulfill your necessaries, at least provisions. Other things we'll talk about later. I couldn't buy any gifts for my child. Whatever the money I had, I had to help a very poor family. That's not a problem now. Come inside. Our daughter has slept. Hey, hey stop, stop that don't hey, get very quiet. Stop that. Hey, stop. 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 Hey, stop
जेम्स प्लीज स्टॉप आर यू हंग्री सी दैट Please take it. It's a good food. Please have it. Take it. Oh. Please have. <laughs> oh shit! One morsel of rice. Heard it? One morsel of rice. I will. not give it to you okay coming here begging in the morning itself you have to take care of your family members expenses understood we are not supposed to pay for that understood understood properly okay dude hmm. don't know how you people come here hmm hmm What are you doing? I'll come come back. right back. Stop, Thomas bro, Thomas bro, huh? Thomas bro. This is my share. This is all yours. Hey, what did you do? Huh? <laughs> Just deduct from my wages. Deducted from your wa wages? Huh? To hell with your wages, okay? He has made a separate home for the mentally ill people. The rice is for them, not for him. Please come. <laughs> Please care to him Thomas. Mm. I'm going to home. Return evening itself. You don't worry. You take your time. Uh, I'll have a look on him. Don't worry. I come back to home. Uh, okay. Ah. Uh, sorry my son. Little bit late. I'm not get it government 5 o'clock bus. I can't Nothing to worry about it. You take care now. Thank you. Mm. Uh. Thomas death is a common factor in human's life you see it is always man proposes and god disposes you know that no you should not become weak you know a good thing about you god is keeping you inside his heart you have to share everything with others thomas god has selected you for this You should realize that how many patients are waiting in the hospital for the food you bring. Don't you think you have to save them all? Think about it well, Thomas. Okay. Hmm. He'll be all right. God okay, bless father. you. God bless you, my child. Your father will be okay. <laughs> God gave him to us. He has taken him back. Let us console ourselves with that. Like father said, there are so many hungry people waiting for you in the hospital. You have to go. You have to go and feed them. 
our children and me will pray from here to god our son will also pray for your well being from heaven Thomas 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 please tell me father uh, we have to go out now go wear your shirt yeah, and come come, now. come fast you see we have to go to a certain place by god's grace something good is going to happen to us please keep praying stop 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 here thomas you see that house you are going to start your new life in this house this is your place If I really need to start up something new, I really need huge funds, Father, which I'm not capable of. Ha! You may not have money, but for you, God has given a lot of money to other people. You have to ask and collect the money. If you ask, they will all will give you Thomas. Madam, Father was suggesting a startup for me, starting a punarjeev. <laughs> Good news. I was really thinking to call that the woman who I found in the street. I've planned to call her first. Oh, that is good thing. For your good hearted, you will get all blessings from God because God always love good hearted people only. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm going out today. <laughs> I'm going out today. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Thomas bro Hello there Maybe if I say my name you might remember me Do you still remember Kadar Where is your house Who are your parents Tell me I have been asking the same thing for the past few hours you know He is not saying anything apart from Kadar and Kadar I've been asking the same with him watching this boy for a long time from the evening bro give me one cup milk long ago there was a tea shop opposite to the medical college there was a orphan boy about 5 years old hey kid would you go away from here how did he come here you tell me brother uh, i don't know about that evening onwards i have been seeing him here but guy looks very innocent why do you even bother still just give him to the police they'll take them and find his place parents and whatever wherever he belongs just understand that will create a lot of problem and there came the thomas bro he grabbed my hand and took me from there hey fool listen to me where are you taking him hey hey hey, hey. stop there let the police come just keep quiet let him take him at least we'll get rid of him He fed me. He gave me clothes. He just took care of me like a sibling. And he even tried to educate me in school. Why? I need to join him here. What is your? My name is Kadar. Ah. Uh, what is your age? Ah. Uh, six years. Why are you not joining the school? Madam, he has no parents. That's why. Uh, who are you? Brother. Like a brother. Ah, uh, what is your name? Thomas. Both are not relative. Ah. Uh, Ma'am. Who will take care of him? The child take care. But he was an idiot. He failed his 10th exams. After my failure, I was unable to stand in front of my brother. That was the reason. And one fine night, I took a hundred rupees note from my brother's pocket and ran to Mumbai. From there, I worked for a Marwadi. After a lot of sufferings and struggles, I finally became a driver. 
I earned a lot of money and I have enjoyed everything that I have to enjoy. One day, the boy in my room got a letter from his mother. When she was ill for a long time and admitted in Kotayam Hospital, every single day a person used to give her lunch. And this guy was feeding over 100 people every single day. When I came to know his name is Thomas, I was sure I know that person. And with no further delay, I just took my vehicle. When I came to a medical college, I heard that he had made a home for the homeless in Kotaim. And then I decided that my life is here. With the money I left, I bought a vehicle and I came here. Take the keys. Come on. Do you want to meet Thomas brother? Come on, come on. Don't hesitate. And you don't need to worry. There are so many people staying like you. Hey, what happened? Why don't you speak? I told you not to worry. Please come. What is this? The letter is pinned over here. Dear Thomas bro, this is my uncle and auntie. Both of them has lost their memory and they don't even know each other anymore. Come. We are working in abroad and we can't leave them just like this. We are worried. That is why we are leaving them in the shelter of Thomas brother. Who is this new guy, Kadir? Ha! Huh. Just hear the story. We have the dam, right? He was trying to jump off the dam, trying to commit suicide. And then, few people over there stopped him and, and brought him to me. What is the matter with him? Thomas' brother, he said that he had a deadly disease. And then, even all the treatments, there was no use and he was hopeless. Which is why he wanted to die. <sighs> to be honest, I was so moved by this but for Thomas brother these things aren't new but what I feel is you can speak with him uh, uh, and our vehicle is standing on the dam I'll go get it hey bro no worries anymore Thomas bro will take care who told you that you will die soon all doctors treated me were said anyhow I'll die after Two or three months, they have said this. For my medical expenses, my parents were spent most of the money. <laughs> so I decided to kill myself. I went to suicide. 
can you tell me anyone who will not die in this world i will die one day you may die one day plants trees birds will also die but human is the only kind who is afraid of death the reason is he has an ability to think and fear have you ever have you ever noticed life for only one day do you know why no one is ever preaching or telling them about death so until the time it dies it will have wonderful life Do you know what is a real happiness my kid not knowing when we will die Imagine if species which have only one day of life can be very happy You have a great one month of life ahead you should celebrate this with love and affection doing good i'm ah. fine i'm fine ha hi brother kujapan who's this yes this is our sneha uh-huh. she is studying mbbs uh-huh. this is her home once she comes here then it's always a celebration ha uh, see brother what is your name my name is kadir oh kadir yeah okay i'll say daddy and come sure sure hmm? I think recently you have not taken care of your health properly. You have to increase your food intake. I'm having a great meal. Where are you eating properly? Daddy, you have to increase your food intake, okay? Who told you I'm weak? Look at my biceps. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, can I leave? Mm. <laughs> What happened, Kadir? Hmm, nothing. Who is this Nega girl? You want to know just about that, right? <laughs> If you feel the way, yes, it is. Snega is our own kind, our own daughter. She has a very great story. About her story, I'll narrate you some other time when we have. Is it okay? Hey, Ramus bro, someone's on the ground over there. Stop the car. Let's go check out. You stay here. Ah, I'll go I'll check out with you. Ah, oh, looks like he was in a devotional journey. Swami, Swami, uh, what happened to you? Uh, you don't look Swami? like a local light to me. What happened? Uh, 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 How his legs? Uh, There is a very severe wound in his leg. Uh, He is so frightened. Will not waste time. Let's take him in. Uh, please give him uh, a hand. Please, please, please. Slow, please, please. slow. Careful, yeah. careful. Be careful. Other take her. Nothing to worry. Swami. Name. What's your name? Uh, uh, name. Ah, uh, which place? He's not telling anything. If you are a dumb, just open your mouth and tell us you are dumb, so that we learn. <laughs> Why do you laugh? Uh, at us. Um, uh, let me check. Thomas, bro, there's an address.
ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ ನಿಲಯ ಪಿಲ್ಲಯಾರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಟ್ ಪರವಾಯ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ನಾಗಪಟ್ ಕಾದರ್ ಅ ಟ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ನೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಅ ಟ್ರೀ ಮೋರ್ ದನ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಶೆಲ್ಟರ್ ಟ್ರೂ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಟ್ರೂ once in the evening we always used to hear the sounds of birds Very true. but listen right now <laughs> we only hear the sounds of the ravens and even that's even hard now yeah true mm. does kadar know what is the name of this plant on um, this bohan villa isn't it in our country language we'll call it as paper plant <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's right someone is uh, coming kadar Hi sir. I am Ravichandran. I am Nagapatnam district collector. Thomas. Uh, yeah, it's me. I heard that my father is here. I came here to take him. In recent times, my father is so disturbed. After my mom dies, he changed like this. What he said to me is he is going to Sabarimala with his friends. But he is missed in the crowded place. Even after all that, he is all right now. God is with him. Yes sir. Thank you so much. Okay sir, we'll leave. Huh. We'll see you later sir. Happy to meet you. Please keep this. This is my small remuneration for your caring works. I'm really powerless to say no to it because only these kind of earnings is a day's food and grocery for our home people but I'm really not the right person to get it Kadar call Manu bhai ah she is the first ever member of this place hmm you can give it to her um please get it thanks sir tan orisi brother i was really worried of where to get today's groceries for our home people no thomas brother giving you arms is like going to many temples and getting blessings from there please tell so you started giving food to the medical college hospital also there isn't it yeah I'm preparing everything for that. You guys have to that. join us too. We are always with you Thomas bro. Don't worry mm. about anything. Just tell us what to do. Don't fear. Hey, Give me a requirement. Hey, stop 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 stop. Give me the list are of materials you, you want. Yeah, I'll send it. Breaks, I need only one leg. Nice. Enough enough. Now onwards I Just have to travel. Just see who is there. What is yes. he doing? One. Mm, I think he's got lots of money with him. Yeah. Here it is. Okay? Brother Yeah it's 5 rupees less total is 35 5 rupees short 35 rupees from my place to here it is 35 rupees <laughs> are you trying to cheat me i am not cheating you ah. this is not running in water it needs ah. petrol it's a machine oh i just got to know that okay ah. <laughs> daily when i go to ah. sleep i pray to god that this petrol and diesel should not be mm. going up by 5 paise ah you mm. leave all that mm. give me give me the money Hey you are telling all this nonsense for just 5 rupees huh Ah oh, this is not a lecture uh. this is my bread and butter i have to dance i have to sing and that is my condition with your kind of physical appearance it's better to earn your livelihood by singing No time for me to listen to this give me the money Hey i have told you i don't have change huh? just see into this huh There i see uh, leave you, it. you uh, leave it I'll give it to you when i meet you next time That is when uh, we will keep meeting very often uh, i will give it to that time and for the fire pits you have to give i should be looking for you every day sitting in my auto is it uh, hey it's not good to argue with decent people for just 5 rupees okay and look who is telling me not to argue for just 5 rupees uh, uh, you just see this is there any change in this can't you change this 100 rupees note is it a counterfeit or real uh, listen i'll tell you one thing If you don't respect decent people if someone wants an ask for their labor you will talk all this nonsense is it you indecent uh, fellow uh, if i don't give what will you do i will come to your house oh yeah 
for just 5 rupees you are going to spend 150 rupees of petrol and come to my house which is 5 kilometers if away if i come to your house you have to pay me 155 uh. not just 150 uh. uh. don't play with me what do they call you here why do you want to know in my town they call me kk unni krishnan so kk unni krishnan we'll see you tomorrow okay I will take it only half if you don't give me money. Leave my clothes. I will give you five rupees, okay? Ah, uh, immediately. Yeah, you have change for hundred rupees. Yes, don't I have come. See, he doesn't I, have I, it. Give me change. Come here. Uh, he so, says he has change. So you have change himself in the morning, huh? Okay. What a bad luck for me. I'm here for giving change to people like you. Here, hundred rupees. What is hundred rupees? Oh. Ah, give it fast. Hmm. One twenty, fifty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred. Take it. Hey, this is only nine, eh? Hey, count it properly. I don't have to count. It's just ninety rupees, huh? Okay, hey, thank you. Give me the balance ten. Just give me fast, bro. Ah, here, yeah, take it. This is only five rupees. Take uh, it, one more. You should give change to everyone. No like this, problem. Okay? You can even come tomorrow and take uh, change from me. Okay. Okay. Don't waste time. Give me, give me. Hey, just give me. It's just that you are too short to look at, but it doesn't have any relation with your mouth. Pay the money. Here, your five rupees. Thank you, brother. Thank you, bro. Ah, <laughs> uh, Thomas, brother. Yeah, Unni Krishna. Thomas brother. Yeah, how's your business? Ah, Thomas brother, this month I can't give you anything more because I don't have. Just take this It's and okay. adjust. Okay, I understand. I understand. I hope your life is good. No, right. no, no, no problem. I'll go. Very, very good. I'm already booked for a trip. I have to go now. See you later. See you, brother. Patients can travel in this vehicle freely. I donate okay. you. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh Okay. Uh, what are you uh, holding in your hand? She just came donated us some dresses. Hmm, let's open it. There are still people like her. Seen she created, came in a car, said those were good clothes, and said good morning. Hmm, sick people. Sir, what happened, sir? I know everything, sir. After I went from here that night, my father. Gave his personal diary and asked me to read it. My dear son, I love you more than anything in this world. Your mother also loves you as much as I do, and you know it well. Even after getting married, we weren't blessed with a child, but God has given you as a gift to us. You know that we are only your adopted parents, and you know that. and this information is known to you too but we are not worried about that because you are intelligent you are educated i am going to tell you something very important when i was climbing sabarimala i was lost i think it is god's will because the one who saved me was the same one who gifted you to me in this life when i was working in kerala through dr ikbal i got to know thomas and and adopted you like he saved me from ruins he also protected your mother from her mental illness and saved her life it is also thomas the great person but you may think that why i am telling you all this now yesterday at thomas house i saw your mother the mother who gave birth to you if possible you must go there immediately and get that blessings you have to fall at her feet and get that blessings one from your mother 
and another blessing from the great man Thomas, your dearest father. After he seen you, he understand everything. But he is not able to speak. After my mom dies, my father didn't speak till now. I understand that Thomas is you only, sir. Sir, I want to see my birth-given mom, sir. You already met your mother on the day. I know, sir. For sure, I know, sir. But why you didn't tell me that, sir? A very good-hearted man from Tamil Nadu has come here. How can I say him? His mother is mentally unstable. How can I really say him? She is right in front of him. Sir. Thank you so much sir for taking care of my mom till now You are the god sir I'll see you in front of me Alvin, do you know this tune alone? This is making everyone feel sad. This is my life tune. Then, what is the tune of my life? Shall I change the tune? Mm, you have to change. My tune is changing. Even my life is going to change now. Thomas bro a few people have come downstairs i heard that it's some kind of an inspection hmm, i'll take a look madam what do you even want are you having all the papers correctly that should probably a confusion i guess are you going to decide that we have come here based on a complaint which we have received daily i am getting so many complaints like this kind of orphanage our duty is to enquiry I think I'm right. Okay, ma'am. As you say. Who's that, Thomas? Uh. I want to see him. Hmm. Good morning, madam. Good morning. So you are the Thomas. Yes, madam. What is this? Are you cheating all the people? So you are getting so many money as a donation from the foreigners by the sake of the people madam literally 40 years before to helpless a foodless man i have bought a packet of food i started this place with the heart what bro haven't you ate anything no
will share and eat this okay no no you have it are you not starving not like that you are having small quantity if we both eat this no one will get satisfied don't worry about that my father told me if you have seen anyone is hungry in front of you how much if we eat our stomach will be filled but our heart look if we eat this with care three person will have this <laughs> come on take it okay eat this hmm what's your name ramachandran and yours my name is thomas where are you from i'm from palakkad palakkad i'm also nearby So here I came here for job. Okay. Anyone has come with you? I don't have anyone for me. But I have one person now. Who's that? Sitting in front of me, you only. <laughs> hey Thomas. After we clear all this, we need to take care of all the person in this hospital. Not only in this hospital, we need to take care of all the persons in the world. How it will happen? Everyone had doubt of India will get freedom or not, but we get that no, so it will happen for sure. If a person thinks anything will happen, but he should have good hearted, like you, Thomas. Now proudly we feed more than 7000 patients. This home is a shelter for many. Anything we started with a good heart has been funded by good hearts. If you want to check, you can check our accounts book. Whoever wants to see and whenever you want to see, you can really check on it. Madam, once I was an attender Kottayam Medical College. I was attender there. Even now, I feel like I'm an attender. You. One day, Doctor Elizabeth said me, a pregnant woman without the father's identity and the girl wanted an abortion, so she approached the doctor. Her mother and father were in foreign country, and this has to be done without their knowledge. But the doctor. Didn't allow her to do it because if she proceeds that abortion, the girl's health might be in a very serious danger. And the doctor wanted me to explain about the scenario to the girl, and she really wanted me to do this. A cost of a life is very expensive, is what I preached her and tried to convince her. In the end, without anyone's knowledge, she gave birth to a child. But The right next day of the birth she left the hospital because she didn't want the kid after that the nurse from the hospital really wanted the kid she want to be the mother
Then, after the incident, they gave me the baby right back to me. The reason was the girl is physically challenged and she cannot walk. Even then, I had no heart to give up on that girl. I always wish God should bring that woman in right front of me some day, and I prayed for her. God punished me. The mistake what I done. After that, I didn't conceive for any baby. Is my daughter st still staying here? I want to see her once because I'm her mother. Just a minute. What happens, Neha? I don't want that, mummy. She is your mother, isn't it? God has only brought back your original mother to you. We have to accept her lovingly. There is a lot of good improvement. It looks better than before. Hey, brother. Yes. Can you leave him up in the ward? Okay. Let's go. Thomas, bro. We got a letter. Hmm. You read it by yourself. Is that a fracture? <coughs> hmm. I've given some treatment. I wonder where to start. Mm hmm. <laughs> Dear Thomas brother, I mm. am an orphan with no one to care. Is it everyone mm. like this nowadays? In mm. these last days, in these old days, I don't have anyone to show love or uh, affection to me. Mm. I saw in a journal that your Punarjivan has a shelter for people like me. Mm. With that hope, I am coming towards you. I don't have anything else. Mm. Mm. I just want to die in peace. Will you let me be a part of your family? Yours, Keshavan Nair. Ah, he can come. We are always looking out for people like them. Hmm. Thomas, brother, yeah. he was confused and stranded in the auto stand. When I asked him, he said he has to come here. So immediately I brought him here, Thomas. He's not taking the fare for his auto. Okay, brother, I have a trip to make. Okay. <laughs> This is God's grace. Please welcome. Uh, uh, are you Thomas? Yeah, yeah. I wrote you a letter. Yeah, I read it. I am Keshavan Nair, a teacher in your old school. Which school were you teaching? Adirampura, St. Aloysius School. House, our house, it's like a big tree with branches, leaves and flowers on it. A big tree. 
the roots of the tree are our father and mother only if we nourish the plant with plenty of water it will grow well children's love is the nourishment of the tree you should love your father and mother and that's the nourishment you give only then your house will look like a garden did you understand that master do you remember me i studied in fifth standard of yours thomas thomas ah uh, we used to do naughty things thomas do you remember <laughs> i remember you my son do you discontinue your studies on that day but you very well studied how to love humanity my son <laughs> had you continued to study i think you should have gone the wrong way also <laughs> Thomas brother hmm or Alvin is no more Thomas brother the near and dear ones of our Alvin have come to take his body hey if you start crying you will have only time to cry whatever it is your brother has gone now and that is the law of god now we have to bury his body with proper rites ah sarah's come Sir, I am Alvin's brother. I am Anthony. I like him a lot, sir. Sir, I have made arrangements to take his body. Ambulance will come this evening. You have to make everything a bit fast, sir. <sighs> don't, don't cry. Don't cry. Thomas brother Thomas brother there's a confusion hmm? someone has again came here telling that Alvin's brother and sister you mean Alvin's family ha huh. brothers and sisters Thomas brother please come to whom you gave my brother's dead body your own brother came to take the body huh. my brother having only two blood relations only he and me huh. but suddenly he disappeared because of his health issue On that time you saw him and recover him but right now if something happens to my brother's body i will give a complaint to the police mm. come brother Hmm. 
Hey man, are you trying to sell the dead bodies? Sir, there's some sort of confusion. You're right. There is a confusion here. Everyone seems like a good person from outside. Hmm. But in, everyone is a criminal. Aren't you? Sir, sir, Hello. I think you're new to this place. Thomas' brother is not like that. Chada! <laughs> Don't try to help the culprit. You are under arrest. Uh, this some sort of plot. Hmm. Uh, Get lost. Uh, Kadir. Follow me. Bro, please be careful. Sit in the corner. You have to excuse us, Brother Thomas. The SI is a new person. He's a very angry man. He never listens to anyone. When he spoke about you to him, then he scolded us. Mister. Sir. About whom are you complaining to him? <laughs> no matter who he is, I'm going to tear his mask anyway. Hmm. <laughs> Thomas Pro, it's me. I was admitted to Quantum Medical College with ill health. Can you see what happened, Bobby? Please kindly forgive me for what I did. Only for my family's survival, I started stealing. I had a backbone injury when I was pulling the cart. I cannot do any work. That's why I started stealing. <laughs> Thomas Pro, please forgive me and save me from here, Thomas Pro. <laughs> I will not do this anymore. <laughs> please, please save me. <laughs> Surprise. Seems like you both know each other already. <laughs> he has made a robbery, 25 pounds of gold from a girl's home. And I'm sure I'll make him say where he has hidden it. Hey you, better you tell me where it is. Else I'm gonna break all your bones into pieces. Gopi, please confess where is the ornament, sir? At least tell me. Huh. I already ripped him off last night and he didn't tell a word. You think you can do it? Thomas Pro, please forgive me, Thomas Pro. I've hidden it behind our old school only, Thomas Pro. I've not taken even a pound out of it, Thomas Pro. Believe me. Thomas Pro, please don't look that way. We're not lying to you. Hello, got I Press Club? Yes. Oh, is it? Okay, okay. What is the problem, Joseph, sir? Uh, to a new hospital, two people have brought a dead body. Now Rajiv informed. You call up the police. Received a call from Highway Police Control. What? They found the dead body, sir. One person were arrested there. He said that... What did he say? The brother of the dead person asked to sell the body. Thomas' brother also informed in his local police station. 
we received this news now only sir the culprit nothing new of it sir do you think you want to make money with your own brother's dead body shit how dare you shit I'm sorry, sir. I, I was so rude to you. I totally understand, sir. If someone is getting punished for something which he didn't do in his life, that is the big fraud. I hope. Can I leave now? Ah, uh, sure. I have a request. Can you please leave them in my request for Jamin? Okay sir. Thomas brother, I already know that nobody can do anything against you. Mm -hmm. Cause God is with you for your good heart. Is it enough? Yeah. Who are you guys? You may be able to recall if I tell you my name. My name is Lakshmi. Do you remember that old school in Adrampalli which had many small children? An innocent girl who did not have any food for lunch. At that time a boy came to this girl. I think you must have given food for the first time only to me. You don't need this. What's the reason? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> that food's taste is still in my mind. and who is he <laughs> you remember this pen thomas <laughs> look at this trouser <laughs> Thomas Where did you get this You rented it from someone No no It's mine My mom bought this Oh is it Why are you lying to us We all knew your mom had no money to buy this all <laughs> Look, 
what you want to make fun of me if you think so it will not happen i'm going to stop studying huh my dad bought this pen here after i have no use of it please have it with you hey is it you ravi <laughs> It's with this pen that I've written exams and grown up. I am right now a CEO in an American multinational company. I still do remember the pain which was given to be my classmate with his pencil. I have not forgotten that. I remember everything. It was a golden time for us. Hmm. Yes, we were kids. Uh, you know what, Thomas? Uh, you not only gave me this pen, you also gave me a life partner. <laughs> Lakshmi was my life partner. I never expected that. But because of you, I got her. Thomas, after you shifted out of that place, it is this Ravi who gave me food. You are the one who taught us to share everything we had. Even though you moved out of the place, we used to talk about you. Oh, what Thomas Where will he be now? He moved from this country now. Anyhow, he's been stuck with some hard works. You still have this pen safely? If I lost this, it means I lost you also. We just kept on talking and finally we fell in love. Am I right, Lakshmi? Honestly, it did not start as love. It was much larger. It was a mutual friendship we shared with each other. We have been in America for the past 35 years. We had always thought that we would come and see you here, but it was not always possible. We somehow wanted to meet you this time. That too, I was the one who wanted to stand in the queue and take the food. It was that dream of a fifth standard girl to be in the queue and take the food from Thomas. <laughs> How can I refuse her this wish? I could have shared a lot of things, but life is not about sharing everything. You have to grow further. In a world where good deeds are dying, you have to grow up like a big tree of good deeds. You told your friend on that day, right? That life is not just about preaching. Then what is the meaning of life? <laughs> Love, devotion, prosperity, family, and a little little problems. But we should face the problem with all the power we have as a family. Tell me who is this Thomas actually? A human should be open to his mind and soul. Only then he can become great. <laughs> then let me see those wonderful Take hands. It. <laughs> All that Cecily can do is give you this alone.
I see Pius Thomas as a very amazing person. Uh, being compassionate and showing compassion is not an easy thing to do. It's uh, uh, this is uh, for the for the rights of the people. Uh, it is the penance of uh, life uh, which is shown by Pius Thomas.